Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Koviak. Today we're going to talk about changing up your shooting a little bit here and why it's healthy to do that. Every once in a while we kind of get stagnant in our shooting and doing the same things over. And, uh, you know, sometimes changing that up, trying something different can be a really good thing for you. And I've been doing that here for the last couple of days, so it's still pretty new to me, but I'm liking it a lot. It feels like it's giving me a little more control. But normally when I shoot, I shoot with this arm almost locked, like it's locked and then I just let it loose a little bit. So locked and then just loosen just a smidge, okay? That elbow is just getting basically, it's locked and then just barely unlocked. Well, I'm starting to shoot now with that a little more of a relaxed elbow, like a, a, a uh, you know, not quite even close there, just a little more, just another quarter inch, half inch of relax in this elbow to force me to push my bow straight forward rather than have it there where I could torque it left or torque it right, which I notice sometimes when I'm hunting, especially now that I videotape a lot of that stuff, when I shoot, I'm actually torquing my bow or moving my bow arm, and sometimes that'll bump my arrow a little bit, like I'll do that, but I think it's because my arm is, even though it's not quite locked, it's locked almost too much that I can't really get forward, so by loosening that el that elbow just a smidge more I'm getting more straightforward push out of it in my release I normally shoot with a release that pretty much tries to stay like right here I'm kind of getting more carefree with that hoping for a better release to let it just kind of pluck out of there you know not pluck but let it fall straight back so it's good to have these changes to mix your stuff up a little bit. Find what works better. And what's worked for many years may need some, some fine tuning and some tweaking. I've always shot with that very slight kink in my elbow, just almost unnoticeable, and it's worked very, very well for me. On the same note, as I get older, I'm guessing, but sometimes I don't know what it is with that bow arm, but now I'm noticing more often that it's not working that good for me. I don't know what it is, but now I start end up torquing or bumping that arrow with that and doing that stuff, and, uh, and, it, and it bothered me a little bit. So I thought it's time to change some things up. So when it gets to be that time, change things up a bit. I'll show you an example here. So you'll notice that my elbow is a little less locked and my release is going to come back a little bit more. So it's basically like this. And also my grip. I used to grip solid, okay? This is how you're supposed to grip a, a hill style longbow. I get that, okay? A lot more central pressure in the hand. Well, I've been putting a little more pressure up on the webbing part. Not, not a ton, but I'm putting more pressure in there rather than pressure in the middle of the hand. I'm rolling that just a touch to put a little bit more pressure up on the top. And uh, I'm liking the results of it. It seems to let that bow uh, be a little more isolated from me so that it can take its, it, it can do its job better. Again, little things that we tweak. It, it all works, but this is little stuff that I'm, I'm playing with. So my new shot sequence kind of looks something like this. Okay, see that elbow is bent a little bit more. I'm trying to show you that here. Okay, you can see that elbow's got a little more bend rather than being like that. It's got a little more bend in it. If I show it to you from this angle, you can see that elbow. Watch that bore. Here's how I, oops, how I used to shoot. So what it used to be at was like this. Okay, see that bow arm? Just barely kink. Now it's more like that. There's a difference, okay? And that's what I'm doing there. Am I going to lose a little draw length to that? Yeah, I am. Probably a half inch, maybe even an inch. I, I don't care. I, I don't care even a little bit. These, Like I said, it's not a, not a concern. But so when I do that, and then my release is going to come back a little little more I'm kind of instead of just trying to hold it there and just give a little pop I'm going to let that hand just come straight back on release that is my plan so it looks like this now that's the kind of thing I'm going for something like that where it's a little more simplified I notice it's quieter in the bow I feel like I have a little bit more control over it and it feels good when I'm shooting it. It just, I don't know what it is. It just kind of, it makes everything a little more gentler, I guess you could say, in a way I'm feeling that shot. But I like the fact that I'm pushing that bow straight rather than bumping it left and right, which was what was happening. So it's a much more, uh, with that elbow bent, it's a much more smoother kind of a shot. And, uh, you know, I mean, as you can see here, you know, we're about 18 yards away. I'll just give you a quick spin and look. What we're talking about here, you can see there that it works. It's working very well for me. That's three arrows in there. And again, we're about 18, 19 yards here where we're at. So point being is that that 
little change that I'm making there seems to be a big factor for me, a big help. Um, and I'm noticing it in my Aeroflight on my GoPro. I'm noticing in a lot of things. What it's doing is it's allowing me more forgiveness of my shot, I think is what it's doing. Um, where before, like I said, with that elbow being almost straight, I was getting too much wobble left and right with that bow, too much kick around with that bow, and that was becoming a uh, problem for me. So I like the fact that I have that now that extra little push to it. So, and it also forces me to push and pull my arrow. The last thing you want to do when you're shooting is not is to get maxed out where you are going to lose that uh that push pull factor of your 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 setup. Okay? What I mean by that is you always need to be pulling here and you always need to be pushing here, okay, at that release of that shot. When you're not doing that, then you're you're gonna end up collapsing or you're gonna end up throwing one or the other okay you'll actually come in and you'll dump that bow arm or you'll throw that bow arm those are the two things that can happen from that so having that little extra bend in that elbow allows me that opportunity to really at the shot when i go right before i shoot to at the same time to release and push forward so my release before was a mainly in you know just kind of lean in a little bit and let this kind of Pull this back just that last little quarter inch of my release to snap it and let it go. Well, now I have that little extra oomph to make that bow go straight rather than just a nidge straight and, and wobble left or right. So it gives that arrow a little more time in the straight push of my bow arm for that arrow to clear my riser. And it works. Like I said, it's it's quieter. It feels better. I have more control over it. I like it. I, I Everything about it is much more controlled and sets right up in there again and i'm shooting good with it again if we turn here and look and we go over there i mean that's four arrows at about 18 19 yards i can't complain about that so the advantages that i'm finding and the shootability of that arrow that's the key thing for me the way that shot feels the way it breaks how it sounds in my ears how it feels in my bow hand, everything about it is much greater improved. I'm really happy with that that setup. Um, and it's given me a tremendous amount of confidence. Now that's the thing we really wanna talk about is confidence in there. When you shoot, confidence is everything. Without the confidence, you got nothing, okay? And if your shooting doesn't give you confidence, it's time to change something up, okay? It's time to make some sort of a minor correction. Even if it's just a temporary one to get your muscles to work again. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. When, uh, when my shooting starts to go to crap, I may change something minor. Whether it's a little change in my release, whether it's how deep my hook is, whether it's how I push my bow arm, how I grip the bow, whatever the case is, by usually making that change, it's going to make your mind slow down and recalculate and adjust for that. And when it does, it, it puts everything back into correct alignment and it just makes a big difference. So I'm a real big fan of that sort of thing. I did not have any problems with my shooting. My shooting was spot on. So it wasn't that. I noticed that my bow arm, yeah, I guess you could say I had shooting problems because my bow arm was starting to dance a lot more on the shot. I was starting to get a lot more, you know, I'd come back in and I'd shoot and I'd get a lot more of this is what I was doing. What I would shoot, I'd come in and I'd shoot, I'd poof, do that. Come in, release, boom, and that's what was happening. Release, boom, and I believe that it has to do with that bow arm, possibly some age, possibly some soreness. I fight that a lot more now. Um, if I sit on a stand, even in warm weather, but if I sit on a stand without moving with my hands in my pocket for three or four hours and I go to pick my bow up, I can't, I can't shoot it. Um, I'll start to draw, and what'll happen is I'll, I'll take that bow and I'll start to draw, and it'll go, and it comes back on me okay i'll get back about here and it does that one of those i'm exaggerating it slightly but point being you know it's like uh, and it does that and it's all right here so this elbow starts to give me issues once in a while again i'm almost 50 and been shooting a bow for 30 years and some things you know i probably just need to work it more and because of the move to georgia and all that and, and hunting season i probably just haven't practiced enough so i'm practicing a lot more now we're trying to beat that but i do get a lot of soreness in my shoulder sometimes and that elbow so this whole bow arm eventually is giving me issues every now and then so this is a solution for that not to fix any of this but for my shot to keep that arm pushing that bow forward so when i shoot now instead of getting this 
and bumping that arrow and you know that arrow going boom and kicking off that bow which I was seeing in my cameras now when I shoot it's more of a this way so it goes straight so when I push that bow straight at the shot that arrow has enough time during that to clear that so as that shot goes in um, that arrow comes off and instead of as it goes by it's still got this forward momentum to let that arrow get past it rather than a side momentum bumping that arrow so um, that's the advantage that I'm finding in here so it's really working really well for me point being for you don't be afraid to change stuff up a little bit see what's going to work best for you and if you think you already know don't be afraid to change it a little bit I'm very happy with these results my bow is quieter my shot is quieter i have way more confidence my groups are tighter accuracy is there and uh, i'm gaining everything do i lose a little bit of speed i don't even know what my bow shoots I, i'm shooting a 740 grain arrow out of a 57 pound bow with about a 25 and a half inch draw length realistically i'd be shocked if these things are doing 130 feet a second matter of fact if i had nikes and was 10 years younger when i shot an arrow from 20 yards if i didn't like where it was going i could actually run down there and catch it before it got there so i don't care about speed these arrows do exactly what they need to on animals. I got no fears and no concerns about speed, energy, 57 pounds. I got no concerns about any of that, anything speed related. Am I willing to give up that half inch of draw by shortening that, that bow arm that half inch or even inch? I'm really willing to. The results for me have been fantastic. So just a thought for you, and that may not be the route for you to go. The point is, don't be afraid to mix things up. Change things in your shooting style when you need to a little bit. There you go. Tip for you. Thanks for watching.